So Brad, the Diamonds Division champion, AQA, tell us about her. AQA beat Kylie Ray for that Diamonds Division championship last year at the Summer of Champions, and then she won it back against Ha Young, who's also in this match a little bit earlier this year before Ha Young went over to Japan. Well, speaking of Ha Young. Just got back from a 14-hour plane trip from Beijing. Touched down at Bush Intercontinental and drove right over to the World Gym Arena to be a part of Deep Impact. A woman who's held that Diamonds Championship before would love to hold it again. She'd also love to be Knockouts Champion because there are some championship implications here. Yeah, this we're going to those, we're gonna do those details in just a second as we await the arrival of the Knockouts from Impact Wrestling. Anniversary, Sue Young and Jessica Havoc will be a part of the four-way monster. Oh, well, wait a second here. There has been a little bit of tension, Scott, between Sue Young and Havoc. Father James Mitchell's not here. He's planning for tomorrow's monster ball. Sue just sent Havoc to the back. Maybe the best thing because I don't think those two are going to get along for very long. Especially tomorrow night when only one can leave as knockouts champion. Sue Young, the undead bride. She is as dangerous and violent as anyone you will ever come across. Yeah, this is Sue Young. This isn't her first time here at the World Gym Arena. She's been here a few times before and almost leaves it a little bit worse for wear. Redness into the air from Sue Young. And now we wait the fourth and final competitor in this match. Sue Young has a question. Rip? Seems like just your type. Tessa Blanchard, former Knockouts champion. Tomorrow night, she makes history when she goes one-on-one -on -one with Sammy Callahan. At Slammiversary in Dallas, can she beat Sammy Callahan? Last night at Bash at the Brewery, Tessa teamed with Willie Mack and Rich Swan, and they were able to defeat OBE, David J. Kristen, Madman, Bull. She truly is undeniable, and there's only one Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard, I think, can beat anybody in this sport male or female, because she is a third generation athlete. She's as talented as they come, and she is a savant at wrestling. Any piece of knowledge that's thrown her away, she absorbs it and improves from it. She truly is one of the greatest athletes. She's a once in a generation type of competitor. No doubt about it. Brad mentioned that there are some uh, championship implications in this particular match. If one of the stars from reality of wrestling pins one of the knockouts from impact well they will find themselves in line for a future championship opportunity and vice versa for if a knockout pins one of the reality of wrestling diamond female competitors absolutely and there's our current diamonds champion going one-on-one -on -one with tessa blanchard aqa aqa she looks very uh, athletic she definitely is oh wait Ooh. hold on though oh with someone like Tessa Blanchard, I feel that a lot of competitors, Scott, especially young in their careers, and we've seen this, they seem to get a little nervous when you're in there with Tessa, and they make mistakes. Well, yeah, T Tessa brings so much pressure because you know there's additional eyeballs on any match she's in. Body scissors in the center of the ring. There we go, through. pin. This could be all right here. Down. And a kick out. What a big win that would have been right there. Early oh, on, we'll be out here wrestling. Oh, strike. Again, it's three to three between Impact Wrestling and Reality of Wrestling. Watch Sue crawl inside out here. Bam. Oh, wow. Head first into that buckle. QA might be a couple inches shorter after that. Here comes Ayan. Ayan. The Renaissance woman here in Reality of Wrestling, master of all styles. 
Just went over to Japan, spent three and a half months. This side Russian Lake Street doesn't go for the cover on Sue. And she and Sue Young have had a match here at Reality Wrestling before. It's brutal. Shoulders down. Sue popped free at two. This is one fall to a finish, folks. Oh, now Hyun, great move right there, knocking Tessa Blanchard off as she continues the assault on Sue Young. Sue goes head first into the middle bow and then catches a little boot right to the face. All of these women have brought their A game tonight. Hyun has noticed Tessa Blanchard out here. Oh, oh and, and a dive! A dive from the low pay. Former Diamonds champion Hyun wants to become a future knockouts champion in a senton by Sue Young. Right, that leaves one left, and she's climbing to the top rope. AQA is up top. Look at this! Oh, look at that! Shooting star press! Shooting star press to the outside, and AQA stands tall on her home court. right here against Tessa Blanchard, one, two. Shoulders down and a kick out. Sue was gonna break it up as well before AQA was gonna get to three. A picture perfect shooting star press, but the match continues. Panic switch coming from Sue. Hyun stops that. Oh! Back suplex there with a little bit of a twist. Jackknife cover by AQA. Hyun oh, wait a minute. Hyun breaks it up, and I was just about to say, I wonder if these ladies are going to work together as a team, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that way. Last time Hyun and AQA met in a reality wrestling ring, one of them went to the hospital. Now here comes Tessa Blanchard. She does not look too happy. Nope. Yeah, Tessa. Tessa's angry now. This is where she's dangerous. AQA goes all the way over. Sue's waiting for her. Catches her. No. Oh. Catches Tessa. There's a Geary right there. Blocks the strike by Sue Young. Kick to the side of the head there. Didn't get it all, but it was enough to knock Sue Young off her feet, Scott. Action's been fast and furious here in this four-way matchup. Championship implications also. It's three to three. Oh, oh and my AQA Lord. And nasty spilled out of the floor. Well, your team really works well together. Oh, Ooh. wait a minute. There's a big... Flying knee on the Tessa, Tessa Blanchard. Oh, and a kick out. It's going to take more than that to hold down Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard, though, as great as she is, she's taken a lot of uh, offense already, taking a lot of damage. That flying shooting star and then that flying knee. Now, the problem with all the other female competitors right now in the world, they are competing in the diamond era, and that's the era of Tessa Blanchard. It's like Charles Barkley never winning an NBA championship because he played in Michael Jordan's era. Here they go, both these ladies up top. Tessa firing away at the small of the back, trying to turn things back in her favor. Big forearms by Tessa. Ooh. Tessa Blanchard up top. Will we see Magnum here in Houston, Texas? Magnum. Oh, wow. Goodbye. Goodbye. What a beautiful move. It's over. Impact oh Wrestling my goodness. picks up the win. That's Magnum, folks. Here is your winner, Tessa Scott, if she does it tomorrow night, she's going to beat Sammy Callahan. Sammy Callahan, wow. as impressive as he is, has his hands full. Because like you said, Josh, it's the diamond era, and Tessa has served notice not just on females, but every male competitor out there as well. She hasn't even lost her breath. She's singing her theme song after she picks up the win, and now a standoff here. Well, what Tessa did by winning this match not only puts Impact 4-3, but it means that Reality of Wrestling is lucky enough that Tessa Blanchard will come back. Well, I got to say, that was an impressive, impressive win by Tessa Blanchard. And for High Young to be defeated by a move like Magnum, I can't even be mad at it. Tessa Blanchard came into the Road Nation, came in the World Gym Arena and amazed, but AQA is no small task. And she's going to keep a tight grip on that championship. There is very few competitors in this world in any sport that are as complete as Tessa Blanchard. And keep in mind, she's 23 years old. 4-3 right now in favor of Impact Wrestling as we get closer to the end of Deep Impact and closer to the start of Slammiversary.